A new controversy has broken out over bath mats and rugs, which have pictures of Hindu gods printed on them. Now, this is not the first time. Culturally insensitive products in America have made headlines time and again. US-based retail giants like Amazon and Wayfair are facing strong protests. The question we want to ask tonight, is this outrage justified? Are Hindus being oversensitive? And what about other faiths and their reactions? The Prophet Muhammad's cartoons, for example. Our next report covers all. American e-tailer Wayfair has come under fire for selling bath mats depicting Hindu gods. The incident comes just days after Amazon was slammed for selling similar items. Wayfair has been stocking bath mats with Lord Ganesha and Lord Shiva's imprints on them. The mats sold on the website for $38 and more, described as Yoga Asian Lord with third eye bath rug and Asian face of elephant lord bath rug. Headquartered in Boston, Wayfair is one of the popular online destinations in America for home goods shopping and this isn't the first time it finds itself in such a controversy. There have been complaints in the past too about Wayfair selling bath rugs imprinted with images of Hindu gods. Last year, Wayfair removed a cutting board carrying the image of Lord Ganesha and apologized after Hindu activists protested. Last week, a petition was launched against Amazon for selling bath mats, floor mats and toilet covers depicting Lord Ganesha. The initial goal of the petitioner was to get 150,000 signatures, but later the target was increased to 200,000 as by Friday itself it had received nearly 156,000 signatures from people across the globe. That petition demanded an apology from Amazon too. In 2014, the e-commerce giant had removed a controversial pair of pants that featured Ganesha. Despite the fact that the United States of America is home to a growing number of Hindu immigrants, mostly from India, Hindu religious icons and cultural symbols are often mistakenly used for lifestyle products. Issues such as these arise because many Americans taken with the trend of yoga wrongly associate Hindu religious symbols as something that can be used as a lifestyle expression. Hinduism does not prohibit the usage of gods and goddesses as figurines for decorative purposes. But the idea of using the pictures of revered deities on something like a bath rug is a repulsive thought for most Hindus. And for those who think the Hindu community is being oversensitive, it's worth looking at how other religious communities react when faces and symbols they consider sacred are inappropriately used. Any attempt at the imagery of Prophet Muhammad has been met with violent protests, even murder. In August last year, Dutch far-right lawmaker Geert Wilders cancelled a planned contest calling for caricatures of Prophet Muhammad after mass protests broke out against the event in Pakistan. Wilders, who had received death threats over his plans said that he decided to cancel the event to avoid making people victims of Islamist violence. In 2015, the attack on the offices of French satirical newspaper Charlie Hebdo shocked the world. The paper had published cartoons ridiculing Prophet Muhammad as well as almost everyone else. But two brothers, Said and Sheriff Kowachi, forced their way into the offices of Charlie Hebdo in Paris. Armed with rifles and other weapons, they killed 12 people and injured 11. In September 2005, a newspaper in Denmark published a series of cartoons titled The Face of Muhammad. Hundreds and thousands protested around the world. Nearly 250 people were dead and 800 or so wounded after those protests. So it's clear that when it comes to religious sentiments, it's to each their own. But while protesting against acts that offend one's religion is fair, nothing justifies the killing in the name of faith. Beyond a Port, we are World is One.